So starting today in Taiwan, masks are no longer required while outdoors. But I actually have a question for you about this, Natalie. Uh, when do you think Taiwanese people are actually going to take their masks off? Because just to be clear, I went outside today and I saw exactly the same amount of people <laughs> wearing masks. I totally forgot that we didn't have to wear masks, so I wore my mask too. Mm -hmm. And then I asked a couple people around me, are you going to wear masks? And everyone's planning to wear their masks still. I don't know when, but I do have an answer for you. Okay. Okay. Rabbit. <laughs> year of the rabbit. Year of the rabbit. So that's next year that's next after year. Oh. Lunar New Year is over. Or I mean the next oh, Lunar that's New soon, Year. You think? Well, I think people will start like realizing, you know, um, not everybody. I think there will always be people wearing masks in Taiwan. Because people used to do that even it, before the It was the like pandemic. that before. But only when you were like sick, for example. Right, or during the winter, right? Yeah. But I think by this time, during the new Lunar New Year, people will be used to like after all the festivities, you know, they might be used to the idea and the weather will gradually be getting warmer. So sometime during the year of the rabbit next year. Interesting. All what right. do you think? <laughs> I don't think I'm as optimistic as you. <laughs> I think in one year. So like 2024 maybe. Yeah, I think maybe Probably in 2024. early 2024, we're going to start seeing people take their masks off outdoors. And I think that's for a variety of reasons. Um, I think one, like you said, is people have become really used to it here. I think it is more of a social convention at this point than like a medical reality. I think people just wear it because they have worn it for so long that they don't know any other way of living. Think of like, <laughs> well, I mean, think about it. Think about the children too, who like play with masks while outdoors. Um, not that I'm one of those people that are like, get them off the children. Like, but you know, if you're a six, seven year old, it's been three years. Like you've, most That's of your memories know, have been right? with masks. So, and I think people have just gotten very used to it. But uh, I've also heard from people even before they announced that they would end the outdoor mask mandate, which they, Basically, you haven't actually had to wear a mask for a while. Um, they were saying, like, anything you do outside, you basically didn't have to wear well, a mask. Well, exercising and eating, right? So you can Well, even doing... walking. Walking? Yeah, that walking counts as counts... exercise? Yeah, it counts as exercise. <laughs> they they <laughs> said that, cheating. like, four or five months ago. Oh, I don't yeah. remember that. That was just, like, this very wink-wink, nudge-nudge, which oh. they, like, COVID here has been like that for many different things. It's been like a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. It's just like, actually, you can do this now. And so, um, but no, I, I think, yeah, I think people are still a little scared, I think. I think they're still a little afraid of the virus, which is, I think, totally understandable. Um, and I also actually know some people who said that they don't want to, like, they like the anonymity of wearing a mask. Mm. Have you heard this from uh, people? I felt that way before. Um, yeah. So I've, I've talked to some people who said like they like but the anonymity. what are they doing that they, they, they Nothing. They just, I don't, <laughs> I, I personally don't get it. But um, there's some people that they're just like, they don't want strangers like, Maybe they're you too know. beautiful, you know. And like <laughs> <laughs> and people just like express so much through their facial features mm. and, um, and also through their expressions that um, they just like to hide that, I think. That's interesting. So um, I think there are a lot of a variety of reasons, but I think it's actually going to take a long time for Taiwanese people to get used to what the rest of the world is doing, which is just like not wearing masks outdoors anymore.